Those of us who try to live a healthful lifestyle have sort of a complicated relationship with alcohol. <laughs> I remember I was in Austin in 2010 and I had a really bad hangover having only drunk a couple glasses of um, a Bombay Sapphire Gin and Tonic. My headache was so bad and I said, you know what, I'm gonna see if I can go 30 days without drinking just to see if I could do it. And I did it, and at the end of it, I'd lost 13 pounds of wow. fat. My skin had got better. People were saying, wow, you look, have you been working out? And I hadn't been working out, but I actually looked better. I slept better, I had more energy, I was more clear in mind. And I just said, you know what, I'm just gonna keep on going. And I haven't drunk since, since 2010. The National Institute of Health said that if you just have one glass of wine, it takes seven to 10 days for the toxins from alcohol to leave your body. I'm not saying that people have to quit drinking and that alcohol is the absolute devil and you should never drink. That's not what I'm saying at all. Thank God. <laughs> Michelle's like, thank God for that. <laughs> but what I am saying is, um, you know, quit drinking just for 30 days to see how you feel. And you'll sleep better, you'll have more mental clarity, you have more energy, your relationships will improve, you'll be a nicer, more uh, genuine person. And then from there, after 30 days, you can either just stay quit or just reduce your alcohol. It's really just so you can explore your relationship with alcohol. Get out of your head that I have to drink to be fun and exciting, I have to drink to take the edge off. That's, you don't need that. So what do people do then? I mean, do you recommend that people quit alcohol cold turkey? I mean, you know, as you, as as you mentioned, people do drink to alleviate stress after a long sure. day. So what do they replace the alcohol with? It's not that you actually want to put alcohol in your body. It's just you don't want to be bored anymore. You don't want to be stressed anymore. So what I teach is change your state. And you can do that with heavy breathing. You can do it with a run around the block. You can do it by doing some star jumps. You can do it by getting a, a nice uh, tall glass of water and just drinking a big glass of water. A lot of the time, three, four, five minutes later, you actually don't want the drink anymore. You kind of like calmed yourself down. What are some practical tips for how you can be out with friends and socialize and be the abstainer? You can trick people if you want. Like you can order a soda water and put a little piece of uh, lime there and people will think that you're drinking vodka soda. But if you don't want to trick people and you're very honest, it's all in the delivery of how you respond, okay? So what I would say is, oh no, no, quit drinking. And they're like, what, what do you mean you quit drinking? Ah, oh, you know, I took a little break and I just felt better without it, so I'm, I'm good. And because I have that attitude of just like, it's no big deal, no one cares. For those of us who have a harder time imagining that, what are some ways that you can drink casually that have less of a negative impact? So when we drink, we get dehydrated. And a lot of the feeling from a hangover the next morning is feeling that, that, that dehydration. So for every alcoholic drink you have, have a glass of water. And, right. and just keep having the water, because a lot of it is um, just dehydration. The other thing is when you have alcohol, your body, your brain rather, gets inflamed as well. So anything that's an anti-inflammatory will help you with a hangover the next day. Things like blueberries and chia seeds, fish oil is really good, is a good anti-inflammatory. The other thing is you can actually make a plan to get up early in the morning, because when you have something on at seven in the morning, like a morning hike with a friend or a juice or a meeting or something like that, then you can say, no, I'm not drinking tonight because because I gotta get up early, and it forces you not to drink. You're more inclined, when you're not hungover, to get up and exercise, which makes you focus on the food that you're eating, which makes you healthier, which makes you happier, which engages more people into your life, and just it has this spin-off effect.